on. And then run down here. And if you go down this ladder, it will take you to the Dagon of King Mega. Like so. And it looks like. I'm not going to use this world. This is a laggy world. It's a bad world. Alright, um. Alright, I'm going to look for a world now. See if this world's open. Turn that part on. Alright. Alright, this world's empty. Once you found an empty world, just uh, get behind this uh, pointy thing. And overload up. Okay. Once you're potted, turn your footprint on, which should be protect item, protect magic. Alright, and turn on. Alright, on that, once you're in the lair, First thing you want to do is attack Supreme, and you want to hope Rex does not see you, because if he does, it's not necessarily a bad thing if he sees you while you're attacking Supreme, but if he gets on you, you'll probably get hit more, use more food. I try to keep my life points above 600. Oh, up there, up there. Alright, um. Uh, once you killed Supreme, you're gonna wanna kill Rex. So take out your staff. You're gonna use Blood Blitz, because it'll heal me up to full health easily. And, oh, I forgot to explain what I just did there. Alright. What you want to do when Rex is on you, you want to run east to the east part of the lair, right in this area, the furthest out into the water. And wait for him to hit you, and then run over here, and you'll be safe spotting him. I don't know, I recommend using Ancients for this because it, it can be a little more expensive, but I mean, it's going to help your trips. They're going to last a lot longer. So you, right. Once Rex is dead, pick up the drops, obviously. It's worth it banking hides and bones, because bones are like 15k each, I think. I know they're definitely worth more than than uh, dragon bones. And hides are worth a decent amount. They definitely collect enough if you collect them, you're going to make a lot more money. Yeah. <coughs> Once Rex dies, you come over and attack Supreme again if he spawned. If he's not spawned, then you range Prime. You want to hope to kill Supreme before Rex spawns. So if you do that, you have time to mage prime a little bit. I usually get them to about half health and then get Rex. Because you don't want Su Supreme to spawn uh, while you're 
attacking Prime because then Supreme could possibly see you. Which, uh. Alright, that's good enough. Once you, uh, get Prime down a decent amount, back to the safe spot. Oh man. 200 hit points. It's not good. Alright, anyway. It's basically the same stuff over and over. I mean, if you have Prime dead and your mage and Rex at the time, you can turn Soul Split on. Because Prime is the only reason you are protecting magic, really. So... Uh, you basically could do this over and over again, I mean... I'd say... It's harder to solo, I mean... I think it's harder to... kill these with a team because oh gotta eat drink that group alright <coughs> well I guess kill prime alright um these things drop Supreme Drops, Archer Rings, Dragon Hatchets, I think. Yeah, uh, Rex Drops, Warrior Rings, and Zerker Rings. Prime Drops, Seer's Rings. A pretty good money, I'd say. I hope there was Frost Dragons. But, I mean, they have bots for frost dragons you now so it's very hard to find a world yeah uh, I guess that's about it uh, once you're out of bruise or prayer in your stores just teleport to Relica, or if you want, if you brought house tabs or something, then yep, that's about it, uh, I'll end this video here, cause it's, uh, same shit over and over, no point in explaining it, alright, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave me a comment on what kind of guides you want to see or what you want to see uh, and I'll try to make that guide. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have fun killing I don't think this would make decent money.